we're close to finally being unleashed in the pyro system in Star Citizen. Say goodbye to the policed and protected Stanton system filled with amenities and supplies, and hello to the lawless and dangerous pyro system, where it will be more important than ever to make sure your ship is stocked with supplies and manned with an experienced crew to keep you safe on your journeys. But there's something seriously concerning that CIG removed from the game that is going to hamper that experience, and so far I haven't heard them say a word on if it is going to be fixed for Pyro, so let's talk about it. Before I get started, this weekend is CitizenCon, and since I won't be there this year, I'm going to be streaming the whole event here on YouTube, and we'll be running an interactive bingo competition where I'll be giving away heaps of ships with LTI and Star Citizen game packs for those who win. So if you aren't also attending live this year, come by and hang out with me this weekend. As we're getting close to Pyro and the resource management system, the importance of having a crew on your ship is becoming more and more vital, and it's exciting to be able to really realize that multi-crew ship experience where Having more people operating your ship isn't just beneficial, but vital to your survival. One of the core experience differences with the pyro system compared to Stanton is that sort of lost in space in an unfriendly landscape vibe, which I know for myself and for a lot of other people who play Star Citizen is one of the milestone gameplay experiences we've been waiting for these past 10 years be able to play more nomadically off the grid and reliance of the same few space stations that we have in Stanton. But CIG made a change to how multi-crewing kind of worked at its core a couple patches ago that has functionally ruined the prospect of that experience largely even being possible that I really hope they correct before we get access to Pyro. In a nutshell, it's bed logging. During an update to stop people from combat logging, CIG made it so that if anyone other than the ship owner was on the ship, you couldn't use the bed to log off, even if that person was in your party. This was put in place because it became common that as soon as someone would come under fire, they would go to bed in their ship's bed to be able to avoid being destroyed or boarded. So it was changed that if a ship was being attacked or boarded, you couldn't log out with someone else on your ship or coming under fire. But for some reason, they also made it that if you didn't own your ship, even though you're in the party with the owner, you also couldn't log out in a crew bed either. So it made it entirely impossible for any ship's crew to use the bed on the ship. They have to leave to be able to log off and find another ship. The word from CIG at the time while they were working on it was that changing things seemed to make more and more problems. So for the time being, they were going to just settle with this solution since it semi-effectively patched the loophole of combat logging for the time being. The problem being that it now essentially caused multi-crew gameplay to kind of have its soul ripped out of the game by just that one mechanic being missing from the game, where once if you came under fire, you could hit up your offline crew on Discord or whatever, be like, emergency, we need you in the turret, we're under fire, and friends could log on, grab supplies that they needed in a rush, and jump on the turrets to help you join the fight. Or if you were on a long mission and needed to leave and wanted to pass the controls of the ship over to your second in command to keep going while you caught some Zs, uh, you now, it pretty much made it function as if you were a parent going to drop the neighborhood kids off at a soccer practice. Or worse, they just quit the game and would be magically teleported to their last station when they log back on next. We all know Star Citizen is a much slower game than most, where the setup to get geared up out the door, on the tram, through customs, into the hangar, load the ship, exit the hangar, fly through atmosphere, can take a long time as it is already. And getting multiple people to all do that at the same time and be able to meet you in the same location to board your ship is like herding cats. But with the likelihood of 30k server crashes, the entire process can often be rendered entirely futile, making the entire process of crewing a ship potentially take hours of monotonous drudgery just to begin. Which is why Star Citizen needs to take bed logging seriously. So players are rewarded for preparation, so they don't view their ship as being so expendable, 
and that multi-crew gameplay can realistically be realized again. Because once I've entered the pyro system, the idea of having to do all that and then some more is going to make the barrier to enjoy what the game has to offer entirely too large. It's wild that they even disabled it in the first place, since you'd think making it just so you can't log off while the ship is in combat would be effective enough. Making it so you can't bedlog out of the game when someone else is on board initially, I imagine was to protect against bedlogging against pirates boarding your ship. But how would that even happen without you also being in combat? And even then, if they did manage to stow away on your ship secretly and you decided to go to bed, in my eyes, heck, they deserve to have the ship stay persisting in the verse to rob blind. It's more realistic and puts more responsibility on the ship's crew to maintain security. And not only does the game not recognize the difference between people on your ship as enemy or friendly, but it also doesn't differentiate if they're dead or an NPC, meaning that if you need to log off, you have to clean up your ship of corpses before being able to do so. And I don't know about you, but if I want to sleep in a ship filled to the brim with corpses, that's my right as a star citizen. I actually posted to Spectrum months ago about inquiring about crew bed logging, and the majority of people seemed to think I was suggesting they disable the combat logging protections, which obviously wasn't what I was saying. And from what I could gather, it seemed like CIG just hadn't gotten around to deciding what the crew bed logging system would look like in its entirety, since there are a number of variables that would need to make a firm decision on. For example, if the ship owner logged off, what would the crew have permissions to? Could they access the main inventory, sell cargo? Or if everyone was logged off and someone who wasn't the ship owner logged on, would they be able to just take control of the ship and crash it into the ground? What happens to players who die while the ship explodes in their sleep, etc. But I think those questions aren't that difficult to make a decision on. If I'm going to have someone be a part of my crew and they're bad enough to crash the entire ship while I'm asleep, that's my fault as a captain for hiring someone who'd be dumb enough to do that. And that being said, it's well long overdue to start giving crew members more access to things like ship inventory and being able to sell cargo anyway. It's things like that which always ruin the experience of multi-crewing in Star Citizen. Part of the fun is the potential for mutiny and the need for building trust in other players. Look, hopefully CIG do have plans to tackle this before Pyro, and it's not unreasonable to assume it's something that's flown entirely under their radar. So make some noise where you can, kick up a fuss, and hopefully we can see something done about it soon. That's all for this video, but just a reminder to come this weekend to watch the CitizenCon panels here and play bingo with me to win yourself some free ships. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment below if there's anything else missing from the game you'd like to see added before Pyro that I missed. My name's Dead Leader, and I'll see you out there in the verse. Hopefully with a working bed. Space. It's cold and it's lonely. But you don't need to be with Dead Leader Merchandise. Merchandising. With Dead Leader Merch, you can represent Star Citizen without looking like a dog. Merchandising. Everyone will think it's for some sick band, and if they ask what Dead Leader is, you can just say, you probably wouldn't know them, and they'll think you're sick. Merchandising. So grab your Dead Leader merch today and support your favorite content creator. Me, Dead Leader. Merchandising. Thanks to my Patreon members. Once beds are working, you're all invited to mine for a sleepover in Pyro.